Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and today guys, we're going to be doing the best decks in the standard format as of the month of April 2018. I like doing this series every now and then, and since Forbidden Light is about to come out, I thought, why not just recap the decks from Ultra Prism to Breakthrough, and yeah, I'm about to see Infinity War in like a couple hours, so you know what, I just get this out of the way, and let's get into this video. Um, so we'll start things off going in order from the top we got Drampa. Drampa mainly seen play with Garboder. Drampa Garb is pretty good. Um, Espeon Garb seems to be the better variant right now, but Drampa Garb is still being talked about. Drampa Garb and Expanded is actually a little bit better too. Now, I did include some tech cards in this video. One of them is Orangaroo. Orangaroo has been seen a lot more play now as a one of in most decks. It has a great attack with resource management. You can get your cards back. It's also a great counter to like Sylveon decks and whatnot. Um, those mill decks can definitely lose to a resource management spam attack, um, but it's seen like a one of in like Galissapod Zork. There's a tournament being streamed right now on the Pokemon TCG Twitch channel, and Orangaroo is one of those tech cards that is seen some play. We also have our Silvali deck. Silvali seen some modest play, um, mainly probably with metals, but you know Silvali is still pretty decent. Um, with all the new power memory cards too, Silvali has gotten a little bit better also, so Silvali is still holding its own. And uh, we'll see if it sees an even more play with anything like Alternate Crosma. Now we have Talonflame. Talonflame's seen play twice. It's seen some play with like Rampardos, but also with Gardevoir. Gardevoir Talonflame surprisingly has become an archetype now in Standard over the past like few weeks. So Talonflame now counts as a tech card for Gardevoir decks. So uh, we're going to include it in this video. Hoopa, of course, Hoopa is seen some play with Sylveon, but mainly the quad Hoopa aggressive deck is also getting some buzz right now. It is a talked about deck. I told you guys in that video, watch out for this deck. Quad Hoopa definitely is a deck that is making a splash right now. We have our Weavile decks. Weavile is still pretty good. That attack, Evil of Domination, is very, very strong. We tried it with the Sidui earlier this week, and we're gonna, you know, try to look at it again in the future for sure. Forbidden Light might have some new cards with this, but I doubt it. Um, I do have another Weavile variant, Cough, cough, noigern. Um, but Weavile definitely is still pretty decent. Weavile Zork, still a decent Zork archetype to test out. And then, of course, we have the king of the format, Zork GX. I'm debating whether or not I feel like this card is bad for the game or not. I mean, to be fair, we've had these kind of fads before with big cards. Gardevoir dominated for a bit. Decidueye dominated for a bit. Garboder dominated for a bit. So it's kind of like one of those things where it's like a certain card will dominate for a bit and then it will fade away after a while. Gardevoir is no longer super best deck in the format. Garboder no longer super best deck in the format. Zoark is the king of the format. The only problem with Zoark is though is that ability is so crutched that it's like decks really need this ability. So I don't know if this card will end up falling off like it its peers have done. That's my issue with Zoark. But yeah, Zoark dominating. You know, there's like a trillion Zoark decks which we'll talk about when we get to those Pokemon. Of course, you got our Guardi variant. Again, Gardevoir Talonflame has seen some play. Gardevoir Zork is also a pretty strong Gardevoir archetype right now. Um, Gardevoir is still a great card, it's just no longer that Zork of the format. Xerneas Break is also still seeing some talk. I still see some people hyping up Xerneas Break a little bit here and there. People still like this card and want to see it do well. I think with Ultra Necrozma next format, we'll definitely see Xerneas Break be a little bit stronger. I do think Xerneas Break will make a re comeback in the standard format. I think there are some fairy decks that will kind of see a bit more play thanks to Alternate Cosmos Dominance. We could see Xerneas Break, Gardevoir DX, even Rainbow Road could make a bit of a comeback. So we'll see. Of course you got our Buzzle variants. Arguably the second best deck in the format right now is Buzzle. There's Buzzle Garb, there's Buzzle Lycanroc, Buzzle Lucario, Zoark, I don't know. There's a lot of Buzzwell decks right now. And Buzzwell's only going to get even stronger. You think Buzzwell is his best card in the format? No, 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 no. It's going to get even stronger now with Beast Energy, Diancy, Prism Star. It's insane. Buzzwell definitely is very good and will only get better with certain cards coming out next set. We got our Basimian decks. Basimian's making a bit of a comeback also. It's mainly a good Zoark variant counter. You can also run Mew in that deck too, which allows you to counter Buzzwell and Lucario and Espeon pretty easily. Um, but yeah, Passimian, starting to make a comeback, we've seen like a Passimian counter energy deck start to do pretty good. Um, so the Wood Oath, one of those other tech cards I was talking about, you know, Watch and Learn is a great attack with counter energy against Zork GX, so people run Soda Wood Oath in some of those decks. We got our Lucario variants, of course Lucario is good, it's probably going to get even better too with this update with Diancy Prism Star. So we'll definitely see a lot more Lucario, Lucario Garb, Lucario Zoark, Lucario Lycanroc. 
three very good Lucario variants right now. We're finally getting that full art in the next set. And, <coughs> pardon me, we got our Lycanroc decks, of course. Lycanroc Garb, or not, like, did I say Lycanroc Garb? Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> Lycanroc Zoar, Lycanroc Buzzle, two very strong Lycanroc variants, and of course, Lycanroc Lucario. Lycanroc's ability is just too good. Luxray GL level X, and its spirit lives on in the form of, well, basically another dog-like Pokemon. Um, we got Rampardo, so I just want to include this. Rampardo's Town Flame is a fun deck. I think this deck does have the decent potential. Um, just being able to one-shot Zoark's clean hit is just too good. Um, we got our Carbank Break, so I'll include this again as one of those tech-like cards. Mainly for those fighting box decks, we'll run like a 1-1 Carbank line. Diamond Gift is really useful when you're out of max elixirs and you need to build something up to keep up aggression when you're falling behind. Carbank Break is highly needed for that. Of course, we got our ho oh Kiawe decks. Very fun fire deck right now. Um, ho oh you know, it's a decent card. It can one-shot Zork with a Choice Band. It can one-shot Gardevoir thanks to Choice Band Steam Up. So ho oh definitely with Kiawe is still a decent archetype right now. Probably the best fire deck in the format. Um, we got our Bulu Vikavolt decks. Bulu Vikavolt will continue to reign supreme on the standard format because it is a very easy to play deck, but also it has some great matchups on the board. This deck can cream Zork thanks to Choice Band. So, of course, Bulu will remain probably still one of those best decks in the format for a while now. Vika Bulu is just such an easy deck to play, and it's not really losing much with rotation. So, I feel like Vika Bulu will probably continue to stay a pretty top tier deck, even with Ultra Prism coming out. Or Ultra Prism. Forbidden Light coming out. I almost. Whatever. I meant to say Ultra Necrozma. Um, but even with Forbidden Light, I feel like Vika Bulu will still be really good. Of course, you got Glissapod, you know, Glissapod Garb. Glisspot Zoark, two very good Glisspot variants. Glisspot, again, I feel like will continue to be good. We'll see, considering we're getting a lot of one-shotting Pokemon coming out with, like, big things like Zygarde, Buzzwell's buff, um, Lucario's buff, Ultra Necrozma. We'll see if these decks that don't quite one-shot things will be able to survive with this new update. Or, got Decidueye variants. I just tried out Decidueye Weavile Hoopa. That's obviously not the big Decidueye decks. The big one's probably Decidueye Zoark, um, obviously. We got Raichu. I just want to include this in here. People like giving your boy Raichu a chance with Patrice, and I'm trying so hard not to cough right now. Um, but <coughs> Raichu, you know, still being talked. I doubt this card will ever be super good because that weakness to fighting is brutal. But people still want to try out Raichu Pachirisu. Of course, we got Vikavolt, mainly Vikabulu dominating. We got our metal variants. We got Dustmane Necrozma, Turbo Dustmane, Garboder, Dustmane Necrozma, with Magnezone, Dustmane, Necrozma, Metagross. Three very good Dustmane, Necrozma decks right now. We got our, of course, Magnezone. Magnezone by itself seems to not be as good as Magnezone's Zoark, which seems to be the better version of Magnezone at the moment. So, we'll see if Magnezone's able to be good. We're getting, like, another alternate type, which is basically just the same one as the one we already have for Breakthrough. So, it's like, whatever. Um, of course, Metagross, still decent. I think Metagross will be pretty good with Ultra Necrozma giving you that metal coverage against those fairy decks. But Metagross, still seen decent play. You know, that quad Metagross variant, still good. Metagross, Dustman, Necrozma, also still pretty good. Um, we got Sogaleo. Sogaleo's seen some talk recently with Zoark. Sogaleo seems to be a decent Sogaleo deck right now. So, yeah. And, of course, we're getting that new Sogaleo very soon. I don't think in the new set, obviously. I'm pretty sure it's coming out in the fall. Of course, we got Mew. Mew is a very popular tech right now. I mean, so is Evo Mew, too. Probably should have put that in here. Forgot. But we got Mew, of course. Mew is a very popular tech. A lot of decks are just playing one Mew just because it's very easy to use Mew to one-shot those Psychic Weak Pokemon with those attacks like Raichu's Beating and other things, too, like Aura Strike. We got Oracorio, another tech card. Uh, you may think, why is Oracorio team play? Well, surprisingly, this is a counter to Buzzwool. It resists fighting. It's got 90 HP. And Revelation Dance with a Choice Band and a Stadium in play could do 120 to a Buzzwool. So yeah, Oracorio has become another Buzzwool tech counter right now. Very surprising. I want to include that in here because I find that interesting. I never thought Oracorio would be a great tech in Standard as much as it is in Expanded. Of course, we got Garb, Garbotoxin, great ability, Garb Glaceon, Garb Zoark, just Garb everything. Garbuzzle, yeah, right. Garboder, Garbotoxin, great ability. We'll probably be even better now with Malamar being so good. And of course, we got our Trash Lanch variants too. We got Garb Espeon, Garb Drampa, Garb Zoark, three very strong Garboder decks. And of course, Garb Glissopod. We got our Evolution starting with Espeon. Espeon, of course. Espeon Garb seems to be the best way to play Garb right now. We got our Sylveon deck. Sylveon is starting to make a bit of a resurgence in the standard format. Magical Ribbon seems to be a very good card or a good attack right now. N is not as played as much 
we may see a change in that, who knows, but yeah, Sylveon has managed to make a bit more of a statement, mainly because those four DCE heavy decks are starting to become more popular, so Sylveon has a better chance of winning games. Also, resisting Zoark definitely helps. Glaceon's also very good right now in Standard. Glaceon Zoark is pretty popular. Glaceon Garb is pretty popular. Um, Glaceon definitely really good. We'll see if it becomes even more popular with Forbidden Light. I don't know though, because Malamar is not a GX. We'll see though. Being able to shut down Trade and also stuff like Bloodthirsty Eyes and Tapu Lele is just too strong. And of course, we got our Greninja Break decks. Greninja Break will probably forever be the best break card. We'll see if Pyro Break is able to do anything next set. But Greninja Break definitely still a great deck. Greninja is always one of those decks that you can bring into a tournament. You can expect to do pretty good with it, unless you just for some reason get super unlucky and play against nothing but Glisspod. Um, but yeah, Greninja Break still a very good deck in standard. And yeah, these are the best decks in the standard format as of 2018, April, April 2018. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. I'm about to go see Infinity War, so I'm gonna go wrap this up. But yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, help me on the road to 3k subs. I wanna see if we can hit 3k subs by the summer. And uh, yeah, did I leave anything out? I gotta ask you guys that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day, and I'll catch you guys on another PDCGO video. Peace out.